Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. So today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. So what's Microsoft Expression Encoder 4? So Expression Encoder is an advanced audio and video encoder and live broadcasting application especially suited for generating content that takes full advantage of the rich graphics and interactive capability of Microsoft Silverlight playback scenarios. Uh, you can also generate Windows media video and audio files that are optimized for other web playback scenarios or appropriate for playback on portable devices. Now, I want to place this link at the bottom of the description of the video so you guys could go check it out. System requirements are here. Uh, one major requirement is .NET Framework which I also have the link here. I'll place these two links right below so you guys can get yourself up and running. But the first thing that you want to do is uh, you can download both of them, uh, get the downloading out of the way. But uh, first thing you want to do is you want to install that .NET Framework 4.0, which I'm doing right now. Uh, if you already have it, you're good to go. You can start installing the encoder right away. But if you don't have the .NET framework, I kind of recommend that you install it right now. Okay, so we're going to accept the terms, hit install, and just let it run. Okay, so once it's completed, you could just hit finish. Uh, some people like to reboot the machine and make sure everything is like nice and go. I'm not going to reboot the machine. I'm just going to go and double click on the Microsoft Expression Encoder EXE file. Get a nice little user control. Uh, account control thing you just hit yes okay you get a license agreement just accept it uh, join the customer experience improvement I'm gonna say no for now hit next uh, choose the program where you want to install that's what we want hit install Okay, once it's completed you get a nice little thank you and just hit finish and that's about it guys I'm just gonna go to start and I'm gonna run it make sure it's good to go before I tell you guys goodbye because Sometimes you install an application and you, when you start it, it doesn't work. So you got to make sure it works, guys, or it needs a reboot. So uh, that's about it. It looks like we're good to go. I think on a future video, I'm going to show you guys how to use it a little bit more. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. Please Twitter it. Please comment. Please comment. I love the comments. I also I love the thumbs up. And i catch you guys later. Peace out.